You, a female, have never experienced being a piece of meat. I have one man in particular on my Twitter who just comments the same thing every single time, like, nice pussy, nice tits. And I'm like, <sighs> thanks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sylvia Sage. And I'm Wesley Woods. Welcome back to another episode of Sexy. Funny. Raw. And today we're gonna get real raw. Yeah, we are. How raw? About the sex industry. Ooh. We always talk so positive about the industry, but I do want people to know that there is a negative side and that porn is not for everyone. No, say it one more time. Porn is not for everyone. Yeah, I agree. Everyone can watch it. Not everyone should be doing it. And here's why. <laughs> People will not think you're capable of doing anything else other than sex. And that is so true. Once you get into the porn industry, you're almost pigeonholed. Like oh, yeah. everyone thinks that you won't be able to go on and do anything else. And that's true for some cases. I probably won't be able to go back into the medical field. Uh, you know, I probably- Teaching kindergarten. Yeah. It does not stop you from everything, but just know that going into the industry will absolutely limit what you do when you come out of it, and it will absolutely limit how people view you. Absolutely. I mean, that's just the hard facts, especially because people are, uh, look at our society. We're uncomfortable having a conversation about sex. People in general, regardless of where you live, mm -hmm. the world, people are uncomfortable with sex, talking about sex. 100%. So you're gonna make a living off of it? There's a lot of problems with that in people's minds so yeah just be prepared that uh that's all that you're supposed to do is shut your mouth and put a dick in it suck some dick. <laughs> which i mean i'm all fine and i'm, I'm all fine for doing and i will i am I, down to put all the dicks in my mouth I'm but i also want to be able to have things. an opinion yes. yes and like i yeah i'm a full i'm a fully functioning human being yes but no one will see you as such. No, and even in the porn industry though, the people who will hire you will only see you as what someone else has done maybe prior to you too. They're not seeing you as for like an individual, like maybe what you could bring to Oh, the absolutely. Table. Like yeah. I will always play someone's mom. Yeah. <laughs> you're never gonna be, I there's won't... just not a world where you're gonna be the hot younger sister. Never, <laughs> never, <laughs> never again. Um, so I will always be pigeonholed into that way. But yeah, yeah, I used to hate it. There was one in particular show, and I won't say, but there was a drag queen that I did a show with, and when I took this show, they were like, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. She's gonna ask you so many questions and talk to you about your experience in the industry. That is not what happened. She was making fun of me for being a porn star and a sex worker. And I'm like, ugh, here we go. Here we go. But I went along with it because I'm like, ah, I make so much more money than you. <laughs> yeah. like, that makes it's me feel better right now. isn't it? That makes me better <laughs> right now. What are you gonna do with all this money? Uh, uh, I'm going to reinvest my money into the community. Oh, that's a very nice gesture. What were you saying? <laughs> I recently had the experience of another comedian asked me to come on his show and do mm -hmm. his podcast, and I did. And he's always very much on my side of the sexual issues and how, you know, like he even talked about how he went into Chase Bank and they <clears> weren't <throat> going to give him a bank account if they thought he was in the porn industry. And I'm like, yeah, this yeah. is what I deal with on a regular basis. And then another comedian commented um, on the video that they posted and it was talking about like me making myself a better performer. And by the way, that change of me becoming a better performer went from me making basically, you know, one third of what I make now to tripling my income. Mm -hmm. So it's such a laughable subject. <laughs> but um, <laughs> the guy was basically like mocking me and yeah. being like, oh yeah, I, I, yeah she, I'm really glad she's really changed her ways and motivates me to be a better person. I was like, well, it, I'm glad that you guys <laughs> tagged me in this post to mock me, but it actually should motivate you to work harder and be a better person because I tripled my income. Yeah. So Well, and just like when people are, <laughs> haters are your motivators, right? And just Amen. like, you know, when people say and do stuff like that, it just is another reinforcing like moment of being like, Work's not done. Work's not done. There's still much, still so, so much more to do. So much more to do to change people's opinions. So, but you, if you were to be in porn, like, hello, and like that is a downside that people. It is a downside. He's motherfucking peanut butter and jealous. He's not jealous. He's putting KY jealous all over his dick. What is there to be jealous of? Fuck his haters 
because they ain't us. They hate us because we ain't us? Another downside. Your travel schedule is going to be insane. Insane. Even in COVID times, I was home for the first few months of COVID, but the moment work started back up again, I was on the road. Oh. I've been traveling since April. Well, yeah, because now that there's testing and in, in protocols in place for May, filming. It's since May. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely like a need because you've gone how long without shooting content and companies yep. shoot All five days, six days, seven days a time. week. So yeah. that is a plethora of content they're having to like make up for now. Yep. And not to mention when the world does work, you're traveling for other things. You're traveling Ooh, for appearances, events, appearances, for, yeah, for um, award shows, yes. for expos. You're constantly, Meet and greet. you're constantly on the road. <sighs> it is so very hard to have any, any, sort of normalcy. So if you wanted normalcy. to have a family, I think it would be really hard working in the porn industry because you would be not seeing your your kids that often. I don't see really? my animals that often. I'm constantly having to hire a cat sitter. There is so much travel involved. It's almost, I'd say I'm gone 50% of the year, oh, if not more. For sure. I literally <laughs> you know? had a Facebook memory the other day and it was like, I tagged my, or I obviously was like, fifth airport in 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty typical. Yeah, that's why I was burnt the fuck out. Yeah. There's just always party after party. This this event, this meet and greet. We don't know how long this train ride's gonna last, right? Yep. So we're like, say yes to everything. Mm -hmm. If it makes sense, aka dollars, uh, mm -hmm. and it also makes sense, then mm -hmm. say yes. But then like, fuck, you gotta be prepared because it is daunting your and travel schedule. And it's hard to say no. Yeah. And that's exactly it. It's because you don't know how long it's going to last. You can be up right now and the next second you can be down. Yeah. So you constantly want to say yes to everything, but then you spread yourself <laughs> really, really thin. You spread yourself out a lot further than you usually do. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, one of my uh, least favorite things about being in the industry is um, you're a piece of meat. My eyes are up here. I'm not a piece of meat. That you are. I mean, surely you, a female, have never experienced being a piece of meat. I have one man in particular on my Twitter who just comments the same thing every single time, like, nice pussy, nice tits. And I'm like, <sighs> thanks. Like, but there's just like, I don't even know. And it's just like all the time, like, nice pussy. Great pussy. <laughs> I mean, at least he thinks it's a nice and great one. Thank you. <laughs> He's very loyal with them puzzles on those. That is Pro funny. Loyal. I have someone who literally just does that too, but it's always like, let me flick and lick and suck your nipples. <laughs> Just, just my nipples. nipples. Nothing else about me he wants, blah, but the nipples blah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I literally even had a, uh, a higher up in a porn studio once sit me down and grab my belly and said, you're getting a little fat. Oh. Oh! And I'm like, honey, this is 97% lame. What are you talking about? I mean, that will happen. But that's exactly it. You just said it, 97% lean, 98% lean, whatever it is. You have to keep yourself at these certain yeah. standards, these certain levels. Like, you think that uh, you could just go and be and like, oh, everybody loves every kind of body. It, it, porn industries don't love every kind of body. Well, now you might be able to do your own on your OnlyFans, but as a porn company, there have been numerous times where they have said like, you know, telling you you put on a little bit of weight or telling a girl that they need to get hair extensions or telling a girl she needs to fix her teeth or she needs to get her boobs done or, you know, something like that. So like They've actually said that to girls before. Boobs yeah. get that. Oh, God. A girl I work with I recently so. said someone told her she needed to get her teeth fixed and I thought, oh my God. Would you be uh, willing to show your naked rear end in a movie? That studio would have a problem if they ever worked with any of the girls from RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, see, like, I feel like certain students, I feel like porn is for everyone in the fact that, like, regardless of your body shape, size, you can shoot. Now, for if you're wanting to shoot with certain mainstream studios. I was going to say, yes, no, on your own. Absolutely not. Certain yeah. mainstream studios will not. But there I know tons of studios that are, you know, bigger, but different, but yes. yeah. But different no. studios shoot different types Mainstream of people. Mainstream A-list studios do not. You have they to have keep to yourself fit their brand, mm -hmm. exactly. their image. Exactly. So you're a piece of meat that's just going through and just. And you hope you keep up to their standards. Ooh, honey. Ooh, honey. 
And just from sometimes the fans though too, like you said, like some people just don't know proper boundaries. Oh. Like I'm not on right now. I'm not fucking, I'm not sucking. I'm just a person, I hate not a piece of me. I hate to say it, but almost no one knows proper boundaries when it <laughs> comes to adult film stars. Like and some people will get offended in my DMs if they message me and like heaven forbid I respond to a DM and they're like, green light, blow her up. We're best friends. This is my new partner in life. And I'm like, oh my God, sweetie. I just said, thank you. Um, if we're gonna chat further, it's gonna need to be on an OnlyFans ah, Sex Panther ah, or a premium oh, Snapchat because this shit ain't free. <laughs> I say that all the time though. I'm like, my time is not free. Like, uh -uh. Uh -uh. Also, I think you, you're people, talking to the persona that I've created. You're not talking to me, honey. Also, I don't think people realize job. how many messages and DMs we do get. So if I'm responding to one, it's because I'm responding of one of thousands. I could literally, if I wanted to respond to everybody, I'd never leave my computer. Oh, I'd no. never do anything. Well, even like on life. comments or like, and then there's right. so many different platforms. And right. It's like, oh my God. It's never me trying to purposely <clears throat> like backhand somebody or be rude to anybody. It's just a matter of, I have to put up my own healthy boundaries <laughs> of my own time and mental capacity. And no one needs to be on the phone that much. Exactly. I like to post and walk away. I and do I will too. And I will check it usually twice, maybe three times in a day. And I will respond if I can to certain people. And then other than that, I'm like, I just really don't know. This yeah. Is, not everyone deserves your time, and I think that's really important when you're in the industry yeah. to know that as a performer, you have to set better boundaries. But also know it's going to be mentally exhausting. Yeah. There is so much that you're going to have to put your mental self through, and including the negatives when people are leaving nasty comments or saying um, certain things about the size of your nose or, or the lack there of your butt and dick or right. tits. Ever. Or... There are some mean comments and you have to just be able to brush all of those off. Yep. You also have to remember that there are all of these um, religious people who think they are doing good by telling you that you are the devil. Oh, I've dated much worse guys than him. Much worse. I mean, at least he's famous. Go pray for someone and quit. Leave me alone. Mm, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Back pains equal financial gains. <laughs> what? Back Just pain? be aware of how actually physically straining porn is. Yeah. I mean, there is nothing I want to do when I come home from a set other than smoke a joint, eat some food, and go to fucking bed. I'm uh, wiped. That's all I'm ever doing. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, and I will tell someone on porn set too, like, oh, I can't wait to get back to the house and fuck you. No, ma'am, that's just to get you to come right now so we can go home because I'm actually gonna get me like ma mashed potatoes yeah. of some sort, macaroni yeah. and cheese, something, some carbish, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to sleep. Exactly. But it is hard, and not only that, like, you're fucking on desk, you're fucking in weird positions, you're hovering over this bathtub. Oh, that hay bale looks like it'd be fun to get fucked on. No, it's not. It's absolutely <laughs> not. It's so miserable. Not. You are in. You're in pain probably, at least when I'm shooting, I'm in pain about 90% of the time. If you're doing it right, absolutely. Yeah. I'm if never enjoying movie, it. I'm like, this is, oh. It's so much work. That's why I say the best time is usually <clears throat> when the director calls cut and you're like, oh my God, just fuck me for one quick second so I can get wet again. Oh my God, And then I so have to true. go back and do a weird ass position. Yeah, so <laughs> true, except I don't get wet, but oh, I definitely right. am like, please just, okay, I remember that it does feel good to have this yeah. penis in my butt. Yeah. I'm not just a hole. Thank yeah. you for that reminder. Yeah. That, Maybe kiss me for a second? No. no or not I, me. You gotta like the kiss. I'm like, for no. some people, not everybody. <laughs> That's not too everybody. much intimacy for me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had one guy during one of the uh, movies that as I was trying to like um, come, he was like stroking my face. He's like, Oh no, don't do what, that. What in the sensual motherfucking hell are, what in the bullshit is this? I'm trying Like stroke my balls maybe? Yeah, but not my tell face. me I'm a filthy <laughs> slut. Like don't stroke my face. Like what in the, no, I'm, you're not my grandpa. What? No, none of that. <laughs> you're about to say you're not my grandpa? Yes, stroking my face. Stop it, grandpa. <gasps> oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> But yeah, you will definitely be sore. Your body will hurt. My yeah. knees look like they oh. went through a cheese grater from all the dick I've sucked. Oh my God, let's not talk about the smack marks you'll have left on your, left on your ass. Yes. Or heaven forbid you're one of the performers that let somebody slap your face. Uh, like, no, I mean, my nipples aren't even sensitive anymore because of nipple cleanse. Oh my God, so rough. <laughs> it's so rough. This one, I think I should take the lead on because I definitely know what this is like. Uh, one of the downfalls, one of the struggles, 
of being a world famous porn star is uh, partying like a porn star, actually, and knowing <laughs> when to stop, <laughs> say no to drugs and parties, and yeah. not all the time, but. No, I mean, I know it can be tough. Here's the thing about porn is we're, we're a, a, a off section of society. So totally. we often feel like we have to just hang with each other because nobody else really wants to be around us. Well, and also who can understand us. Right. That is really hard to connect with people. Yes. And there are a lot of parties because we have a lot of free time and a lot of free cash. <laughs> and <So. laughs> why not, you know, have a party, get drunk, film it, and make more money? Like Exactly. <laughs> so it's a very big party scene and it is easy to get wrapped up in the bad side the of it. Yeah. And it, it happens to a fair share of people in our industry. I was the, I felt like I was the life of the party, so I had to show up as the party. And right. I can't do that sober. Like right. I don't wanna be at the fucking Right. You know me, I'm like, uh, I'm gonna get fucked up before yeah. we get there. Yeah. So I'm fun, wild and crazy. Right. And a lot of people, I think, do turn to <laughs> drugs and alcohol as a way to totally. cope with the mental um, oh, and physical um, baggage that comes with being a porn star. Yeah, Who's moving on? right along on that one. <laughs> Dating mm. in the porn industry mm. is next to impossible. It's I would impossible. Say. Yeah, I all I do say impossible, and I say I'm not probably going to date until I'm out of the industry. Um, but some people do it, and it's successful for some. It's a bit rough. There's a lot of jealousy issues that come along with um, trying to date someone in the adult industry. Not to mention that travel schedule we mentioned before. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. I mean, I'm already a big personality. You are too. Yeah. We live life full, free, happy. It's. It's a lot. And then you add in what we do for a profession. Right. That's so, overwhelming. Keep in mind that <laughs> since the world is now against you, your parents might be against you. Most of your friends have turned against you. Now and even the ones that aren't against you will still talk about you. Exactly. <laughs> And now you're probably going to be single. So can you handle all of this? Can you handle the world being against you, the world talking bad about you, and having pretty much no one to turn to except for other people in your industry? Yeah. No, don't like that. This is something to keep in mind before you Not to turn mention. to the glitz and glamour that you think is pornography. That part that you think is pornography. Yeah. Not to mention, like, have you ever, like, tried to meet someone's family or friends or, and explain, like, who and what you are? <laughs> That's always, what am I going to be? I mean, I've played a lot of characters, so who do you want me to play this time? Recently, I just had this conversation with somebody because I am going to meet the family of somebody um, that I'm not even, like, seriously dating, but we are, like, enjoying each other. And just out of circumstance, his um, sibling will be around, and he was like, well... And I said in the beginning, I said, you know, I can just tell him I'm, I work in the medical field if that makes you feel better. Because <laughs> I, I know it. Because I know it. <laughs> yeah. So I can just say that. And he looked at me and he goes, you don't think that they would recognize you? Or at least like at some point later on down the line go, I think I saw her in this movie. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. I've reached this to a point where I can't hide it any longer because yeah. I am a recognizable name and face and this is just what it is. Yeah. So I have to go now have these awkward conversations. I used to be able to lie. I never just, did. You know, I was like, I can't wait for someone to ask me. But it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to say to somebody's parents and expect them to be okay with you now dating their child. Again, the conversation of sex in the world is uh, bleak at best and so of course it's going to be extremely difficult to yeah. have that with loved ones. Absolutely. So, yeah, no. <laughs> Absolutely. And I mean, let's talk about it. Everyone's going to be talking about you. Literally. Everyone for your hometown, everyone you went to elementary school with, Ooh. high school with, anybody you worked with, maybe in a bar afterwards. Honey, retail. Like, I have retail queens still calling me up. Everyone will see what you do and everyone's going to be talking about it. You are going to be literally the talk of the town. I hate to break that to you. You're going to be the talk of the town at the talk of the town. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, are you not impressed? I made a Kansas City that was reference. Good. You did. Yeah! Talk of the Town is a restaurant named Kansas City. <laughs> it's a bar I used to go to quite often. I've been there. Yeah, where I'm sure we are still quite the, the topic of the, of the conversation. <laughs> So just know these conversations are also not going to be flattering of you. No. These people aren't going to be talking about how happy you are, how successful you are. These people are going to be talking about how they think you made the worst decision oh, of totally. your life. Totally. They're going to be laughing at you. They're going to be mocking you. You're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. So? You can't sit with us! 
Because it's human nature, I think, to make yourself feel better when you're not feeling good to level up on someone. Yeah. And sex workers and are the bottom of the barrel. So very easy everyone's to feel better. better than a porn star, a yep. prostitute, a stripper. Like, we're. Ha! Ah, we're the butt of every joke. Exactly. But then you also have to think of what that then leads into with like the effect it'll have on your parents. Oh, absolutely. Your family. Absolutely. I mean, have you had conversations with your, I mean, obviously, I mean, but like yeah. conversations of how they handle it or how they approach it? I have. It or... I actually have because like my dad, um, you know, he always says like, I'm proud of you, baby girl. I'm proud of how you live your life. I'm proud of the message that you're sending to people. But I know that my dad, he's even said that he's almost gotten into fist fights with people because he's trying to protect me and they're going, oh, your daughter, the porn star. And he was like, my daughter, the fucking proud ass porn yeah. star, you know, he was like, I'm proud of what she does. I'm proud of what she's doing with her life. Yeah. So I know he feels he has to almost fight for me and stand up for me. My mom just lies about what I do and doesn't <laughs> tell anybody. So there's different ways, you know, and I don't know how my brother handles it. I know how... My aunts have handled it and they, you know, tell everybody, like, different. I talked to my friends about you. I'm very proud. But you also have to know that you aren't just doing this for your life. You're affecting yeah. the lives of everybody you know. Your yeah. your family, your friends, anybody <clears throat> who has known you yep. or... Or wants, will associate with you, will be a friend of you. Like, it's... It is... It's yeah. hard for them. Yeah. This is your decision that they are now dealing with also on a daily basis. Absolutely. And that's why I was always trying to be very transparent with, like, my mom. I would always be like, this is what I'm doing on set. This is where I'm at. This is... I, like bring her in on what I'm doing. I think that's what you try yep, to do with I your family too. too. Yeah. Your mom was like, no, dad was like, cool. Yeah. And that really does help them process yeah. some of it. But you've got to be prepared when you're in that like, yeah, there will be people that will try to send things to your parents. Yep. There will be people that will try to say things to your parents. Yep. There will be conversations that you will have to have with your family, parents that are just uncomfortable just because of the nature of who and what you are. And we are very lucky that both of our <clears throat> parents are still in our lives. Yeah. Not every person who joins our industry can say that. A yeah. lot of parents will turn their back on their children. So just be aware that although we are happy and we have handled this industry in a different way, we certainly had struggles coming up. It took us a long time to get to this point. I am very happy. I feel very successful. I feel very blessed. I'm very thankful for what the industry has done for me me oh yes I, I'm I love I love being part of this I industry love it. I don't know what else I would do I don't know I don't want to do anything else I don't either <laughs> and I absolutely love it but I certainly want people to know that it is not for everyone yeah. there are a lot of downsides and please if you're looking to be in our industry if you're looking to change your life for the happy new year yeah. um, just know that there are pros and there are certainly cons and yes. we just wanted to let you know um, what the downside really is to our industry that because it ain't all glitz and glam. Absolutely but we have not. a little glitz and glam right now, don't we? We do. Yeah, we, we have do. a very big surprise. So we have our winner for our Christmas <gasps> drawing for our Omura smoking product. Woo! And the winner is... Oh my God, you're going to draw it! your last name but we'll spell it for you k-o-e-t-s-i-e-r you are a winner maurice we love you maurice you guys we had a ton of entries we could not be more grateful that's so cool we are going to be giving away one more for our new year's special as well so if you um want one more chance to win yes. yourself the omura please go ahead and type omura in the comments section if you don't type it i won't assume that you want one we did have a lot of comments mm -hmm. and not everybody had it typed out so mm -hmm. if you and want i said no chance, to that no no because no. other people had it written i know so if you want your chance to win please write it in the comments we love your comments yes, we love seeing we them and if you like what you saw, guys, click subscribe. And until next time. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.